hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is koi i'm going to show you how to prepare a three course meal over this holiday we'll start with the soup we are going to serve it with some bread croutons and then we are going to have a stuffed chicken as you can see these are my ingredients here it's super delicious and then we are going to have a super good fresh and crispy salad and we are going to top it off with a delicious mug cake it's so super easy to make and we're going to serve it with a scoop of ice cream so let's get cooking uh, no, we have our cooked mushrooms i cook them in some onions a little bit of black pepper salt and uh, a beef cube i'm going to add some sliced apples one and a half and here i have bacon chipolatas and ham I'm going to beat in an egg. And I'm going to add one and a half cups breadcrumbs. You can use any of your favorite brand that you like using. Make sure they are finely. I'm going to mix everything up. Then we are going to stuff this to our kitchen. The egg helps with binding everything together. So you can have a very nice crumble. This tastes so, so good. This is going to be super delicious. It's very simple. You can even involve your kids into making this. Now this is ready. We're going to now stuff the chicken. Everything will be inside the chicken and then we're going to tie it and roast it in the oven for around an hour or 50 minutes. So now I'm just going to stuff everything inside. Now our chicken is stuffed. I've used twine to secure it, the legs and part of the breast. So I'm going to, to season it just at the top. I'm going to start with some oil and then some spices. I'm going to rub that in. This is going to give the chicken a nice, nice color when it's cooking. Remember, I had brined my chicken overnight. You can see, you can find my videos for the brining recipes on YouTube or Instagram. That's good enough. So when I'm roasting a chicken uh, in the oven, I always use a grill. This is the grill. So the juices and the fats are going to go to the to the baking pan like that and we are going to put this in the oven for around 50 to an hour until it's golden brown and everything is well cooked i'm going to put the chicken this part is going to be at the bottom so all the juices can go down there and I'll be back after 30 minutes and we're going to turn it and then our chicken is going to be ready after 50. Our next dish will be our soup. I'm going to make corn and ham soup. I'm going to add some butter but before I add the butter I'm going to add some oil 
so the our butter doesn't burn so when all the butter melts i'm going to add our onions the peppers and some garlic just add everything together this soup is so so good you will not stop making it in your house so we are going to let the onions cook then we are going to add our corn I'm also going to add a piece of potato just to thicken it and then we're going to blend. If you have a hand, a hand blender, no need to put it in your big blender. This is well cooked. I'm now going to add some potatoes. If you're not in a hurry, you can do big chunks. But I want it to cook as fast as possible. So I'm, uh, I've just thinly sliced them. Then we are going to let this cook. I'm going to season with some herbs and salt. I've already added some corn. And this is not the normal mahindi you find in the shamba. Okay, it's in the shamba, but it's the sweet corn. It's yellow and the canned uh, version is best for this recipe. Even the other one on the cob, you can just boil them, then you take them out. But the canned version is better, and I find them sweeter. I don't know, it's because of the liquid. I'm going to season with some salt, just a little, because we are going to add some beef cubes. And I'm going to add some herbs, this is thyme. You can add basil if you want. And then I'm going to let this cook for a few minutes. Then we're going to add some a little water and then cooking cream. In the meantime, we are going to make some. I'm going to add some chopped ham. Guys, not brown. This is ham. I've added around 250 grams. Make sure you chop them. I'm going then to add a little water just to help it cook before we add the cream. And I'm going to cover this and cook. Now I'm going to show you how to make the perfect crunchy croutons. You can use olive oil, but I love using butter and a little oil. I also love adding garlic powder for that garlicky buttery taste. It's so easy to make. I know you've seen them in restaurants. Imagine you can make this in your house. You can add garlic powder or maybe onion powder, whichever you have in your kitchen. And then I'm going to add in the croutons. They soak in all the butter. They are super, super delicious. I'm just going to toast them. And then we're going to leave them to cook until crunchy. And then we can serve with our soup. See how easy it is, guys. It's 
five minutes. I'm going to clean the chicken. So you can also cook and brown on the other side. And then I'm going to add the potato. I've just seasoned garlic powder, paprika, and some salt. And they're going to cook with all the juices from the chicken. Our soup is ready. I'm going to put it back to the pot so we can add our cooking cream. If your blender is, does not uh, take hot liquids, please let the mixture cool down first before blending it. going to add now the cooking cream then we are going to cook until the soup is ready around five minutes and then we are going to serve it with some bread croutons you can adjust your seasoning at this point if you feel it's not good enough Ours is good enough, so I'm not going to add anything. I'm just going to let this boil, then we are going to serve it. Our soup is ready, now we are going to serve. Ooh, yum. I'm not going to assemble our salad. These are cucumbers and yellow bell peppers. Remove the inside meaty of the cucumber. These are cherry tomatoes. Just finely chop them so your salad have, can have a nice color. Uh, this is basil. If you don't have basil, use dill. And then I'm going to add a pinch of salt and some lemon juice this is juice from one lemon and then i'm going to mix everything wow so colorful you can drizzle in some olive oil and that's it easy delicious and super easy to make also love adding, or adding some onions so you can add them if you like they give it a nice color 
and and it's super tasty so yeah you can add some mozzarella cheese if you want and this is our perfect salad This is a perfect spread. You can serve this Christmas over the holidays. Uh, we have our corn and ham soup. It's super delicious. Uh, we have our stuffed chicken with potatoes. We have our cucumber salad and our one minute mug cake. You just mix everything and one minute in the microwave. You can serve with ice cream. It's so good. So yummy. And zero effort to make it. This is perfect. If you if you have no idea of what to make over Christmas or over the holidays for your guests, this is the perfect uh, recipe for you. It's so easy to make and super delicious. Your guests will definitely ask for this recipe. Don't forget to direct them to this YouTube channel where we make delicious meals and we season everything with love. Until next time, happy holidays!